loves you want to know my take on versace bright crystal absolute if you do please keep on watching welcome back to my channel and again if you are watching and seeing me for the first time hi how are you my name is miami my channel is called miami love and if you happen to love perfume just as much as i do please do consider subscribing and when you do click the notification bell so you'll be updated every time i upload a video as well as comment down below and introduce yourself okay today we're gonna continue with what i consider springtime perfumes okay but like i said i keep, I keep saying you do you wear whatever perfumes you want to wear but you know i suggest the strong perfumes that you have during the summer or spring season um, go lightly you know i'm a dowser so if i want to wear my strong perfume on spring and summer i would just instead of dousing myself with it i would just do one or two spare and that's it okay but let's let's move on okay and okay, we're gonna review the versace bright crystal absolute okay now i think it wasn't long ago when i unboxed this one and that's the box i'm gonna link down below when i the the unboxing for this perfume man look at the juice okay this is very surprising for me because i thought i wasn't gonna at the moment you can get this 95 to 165 australian dollars i know when you get it from the department store you expect to pay 165 australian for this 90 ml bottle okay this is made in italy and it was created in 2013 okay main accord is floral fruity sweet citrus woody fresh tam notes yuzu pomegranate and water notes middle notes is lotus puny raspberry magnolia base notes is amber mass mahogany okay like i said I thought I wasn't gonna like it. First of all, this is the flanker, okay? I think this is the all the perfume version of Versace Bright Crystal. Okay, the Bright Crystal looks similar except that the lid, this lid is um, clear instead of pink all the way, I think, okay? Um, and I saw one of the review that because this has a raspberry on the middle notes. I think the original Bright Crystal doesn't have raspberry. And it's more florally. Apparently, okay? I haven't smelled it, so, you know, if you have it, comment down below and let me know, okay? First of all, the lid is cute. It's, it's Bright Crystal, okay? So it looks like crystal. I, I really don't want to spray it because you know I'm running I, I went through it so much look okay um why do I like this one for spring specifically okay because just like the Marc Jacob decadence also decadent this is very refreshing opening you know as you know especially on spring and summer i like my perfume to be refreshing more so than anything else okay i like my perfume refreshing i cannot say that enough okay uh the only difference with this and the mark jacobs also decadence is this is a little bit sweeter and uh, i think because of the yuzu so it has a, a hint uh, just a tiny hint of uh citrus from the yuzu but you see i think it's 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 a lot it's it's a sweet refreshing almost look like a lemon but it's not a lemon <laughs> and the standout is yes yeah, so it's yuzu and pomegranate and refreshing and hence they i think that's why they say it's water notes on the top notes because it's very refreshing okay and then it drives down to the middle and I think the star of the show would be raspberry. So I can safely say if you want a perfume for spring and summer and still smell sweet but not too stickily, sickly sweet, this is the perfume for you because the star of this show in my nose is still raspberry. Okay, um, 
and the floral notes stand out for me just like the also decadent is the magnolia but the magnolia on this one is a little bit waxy okay so uh, that's the difference because the, on the also decadence the magnolia is almost just like like the the floral notes of the magnolia is what I'm smelling well this one is the same thing but a little bit more waxy like the texture okay imagine this is like a refreshing raspberry floral that is the three main components of this perfume and the base notes uh, the amber gives it um, a good ground and a little just a tiny hint of woodiness maybe from the mahogany but the muskiness um i'm gonna be honest maybe because i'm used to all my the musky quality of my all my naciso rodriguez i i don't get it from here but anyhow it's still a surprising perfume for me because i thought i wasn't gonna like it okay you know as it dry down, it's, you get a little bit of viney, greeny feel to it. I don't know, maybe from the lotus. And, you know, it kind of comes through towards, you know, on the mids as well. I didn't mention that. But the other thing that I really love about this one is the longevity, okay? Um, because when I test this out, oh my god, it's so addictive, okay? And when I tested this out... It's a compliment getter. I'm, I'm a lot of my coworkers ask me what I was wearing, okay? And you know I'm a dowser, hence the the big dent on the juice. But I'm a dowser, so it it was like the projection was good. I'd say above average if you're a dowser like me. And the CH is actually good, you know. It, it leaves a trail, okay? And the the longevity is quite good six to eight hours you know i mean after um, nearing six hours it, the scent sits close to your skin but you know me i spray on my hair i spray on my clothes so yes uh, longevity is another thing that i really like about this perfume would love this is people who love to smell sweet on a summer and springtime so there you have it i hope you like my review for versace bright crystal absolute see you on my next vlog bye bye